identifying high-risk patients. The screening and identification of patients with acute respiratory symptoms, mainly SARI, at all points of access to the health system, including primary health centers, clinics, hospital emergency units, and community settings is a priority as well as severity assessment. After severity assessment, care for all patients should be delivered in designated areas according to acute care needs. Generally, patients with SARI need acute hospital care because of possible complications such as severe pneumonia, sepsis, organ dysfunction, and or exacerbation of chronic disease or co-infections. These patients can progress to acute organ failure that may require critical care and admission to ICU for closer monitoring and supportive therapies that cannot be delivered on a general ward. Do not delay ICU admission for these patients. The signs and symptoms of complicated SARI in adults include respiratory distress with fast breathing, shortness of breath, accessory muscle use, cyanosis cardiovascular distress with low blood pressure, SBP less than 100, delayed capillary refill greater than 3 seconds or less than 65 years or greater than 4.5 seconds in older persons, fast and weak pulse. Neurologic findings include alteration in mental status such as coma, lethargy, confusion, seizures, agitation. Risk factors associated with severe disease. Age more than 60 years, increasing with age. Underlying non-communicable diseases or NCDs such as diabetes, hypertension, cardiac disease, chronic lung disease, cerebrovascular disease, dementia, mental disorders, chronic kidney disease, immunosuppression, including HIV, obesity, and cancer. In pregnant or recently pregnant women over age 35, obesity with chronic medical conditions or pregnancy-specific disorders, for example, gestational diabetes and preeclampsia or eclampsia. Smoking unvaccinated against COVID-19. In influenza, young children less than 59 months. Severity and clinical response can be assessed with early warning scores such as NEWS. It assesses clinical risk and describes a proper clinical response and need for monitoring a severely acute ill patient. Patients should be admitted to ICU based on severity of clinical condition and resource availability. In hospitals where oxygen therapy is only available in the ICU, admit all SARI patients to the ICU. In hospitals where oxygen therapy can also be delivered on wards, admit less severe SARI patients to the wards but with increased monitoring. In adults, the CURB-65 score is a validated tool that when combined with clinical judgments can be used to predict mortality and aid in determining admission for adult patients with pneumonia. It considers five simple variables easily available. Confusion, urea level, respiratory rate, blood pressure, and age. A score of zero to one predicts low risk and suggests considering home-based care. Two to three predicts moderate severity and suggests hospitalization. And a score higher than four suggests the need for ICU admission. Adequate allocation improves the ability to monitor the patient and to provide the best care.